So then Joe, you got me back in the electrical workshop. We're looking at products that we love. We're looking at the Vargo 221 series. And I can see my side of the bench, I've got a set that looks gray in color. Yep. And I've got the original orange set your side. Is there some differences between the two? There absolutely is. This is the original Vargo 221, which we've come to know and love. We absolutely adore this product. Uh, and these are also Vargo 221s, but you'll notice if you look very closely there, Gaz, you can see the little EX symbol, yeah. which means that Vargo have developed and tested uh, a new variation of the 221 that can be used in areas that could be considered explosive. Okay. So we're talking about having the EX rated electrical enclosure. Yep. And this is in zones one and two. Yes. The zone correct. system similar to a bathroom, the yep. lower the number, so zone zero being the most dangerous, yep. zones one and zone two. Absolutely. So we're saying that this connector, the new version of the 221, mm -hmm. can be installed in EX enclosure. Yep as long as some other things occur. Yeah. Not just can be, must be. That's right. the first thing. Okay. So we can't just have these floating around, flapping in the wind, okay, uh, inside uh, zones one and two of an explosive environment. They have to be inside uh, an EX rated enclosure yep. suitable to that zone as well. So it's got to be used in conjunction with that is the first thing. Also, inside that EX rated enclosure, they also must be used in conjunction with the mounting carrier ah, that Vargo okay. manufactured and produced as well. These can't just be left again floating around, flapping in the wind inside the enclosure. They've got to be fixed down. The mounting carrier has to be fixed down and only then will it start to meet the requirements for zones one and two. Okay, so some, some interesting differences yeah. there. Also, when we've been feeling them, they feel slightly different. We've yep. been um, told that they are in a slightly different material, but yep. they won't give us any more information. Nope. <laughs> and there's also some rules about installing and matching on the carrier itself. Yeah. I think if we bring the camera in, we can discuss those as yeah, well. Yeah, let's look at that. Okay then, Joe, so brought the camera in nice and close. So first and foremost, can you show me the voltage rating on the side of the actual Vargo new 221? Absolutely. So on the side here, you can see that we've got a voltage, a maximum operating voltage of 440 volts. So that obviously covers very comfortably the operating voltages within the UK. However, to achieve that 440 volt rating, there are some rules over how these are fitted into the mounting carrier. So we'll just discuss some more of the attributes of this and then we'll have a little look at how that operates with the mounting carrier. So Joe, we can see they come in two, three and five wire connectors, Joe, but what type of conductors do they take? They take the same types of conductors as the original 221 series, so that's fine stranded, stranded and solid conductors, so the same conductors are uh, able to be used with these. So you said earlier, Joe, that it needs to be used in conjunction with a mounting carrier. Can you explain a little bit more about that for us? Yeah, absolutely. So as we said, these can't just be left flapping around loose inside uh, an enclosure, an EX rated enclosure. They have to be mounted in order to meet their EX rating. So this carrier is really, really useful. But again, there's a couple of rules that we need to follow on this. Uh, it must be solidly fixed into the enclosure. So that's either via uh, fixing screws through the mounting holes at the bottom here, or it will also sit on DIN rail as well uh, if you want to go down that road instead. And when we're installing these, uh, you'll notice that there's a couple of ways that we put these in. So these just clip into the mounting carrier nice and neatly. Now, before we said that the voltage rating on these was 440 volts. However, if I put the connectors so that they're sitting next to each other like that, that is not going to achieve that operating voltage of 440 volts. It's not going to be acceptable to pass 440 volts across those connectors now. In order to achieve that voltage rating, we have to leave a gap. And very, very nicely, very, very neatly, uh, Vargo have introduced a sort of a spacing system that we can use. So uh, you can see there that there is a distance between them now, and that distance is kind of determined by this little uh, mounting carrier at the back here uh, and those now will be able to carry 440 volts uh, across them without interfering with each other. That's great Joe but however if I did push them side by side does that affect the voltage or can I not do that? You absolutely can do that if you put them together so I'll just remove that and get it back into the position that you're talking about. So we'll take that Vargo connector out and if I put that now right up next to it that is acceptable 
up to 275 volts. Oh, okay. So now you could connect a single phase circuit effectively uh, across here that wasn't greater than 275 volts, and that would now be acceptable. But if you want to push it up to that higher voltage, you must have the gap between the connectors. So I'll just summarise that then. So we're saying they're rated up to 440 volts. Yep. However, we can only achieve that when we have the gap. Yep. Currently in this position, there is no gap. So at that stage, there can only be up to a voltage of 275 volts. Correct. They must be mounted on the carrier. Yep. They can't be left floating loose inside mm -hmm. an EX enclosure. Yep. And we can either secure it down yep. or fix it onto a DIN rail yep. in order to achieve that. Yeah, exactly. So you've got to have those two requirements met. The connectors must be in the mounting carrier and the mounting carrier must be fixed. Thank you, Joe. So, Joe, that was a quick look at the new version mm. of the 221. Yep. So let's uh, summarise what we got up to then. So we're saying it's made of a slightly different material than the yep. original 221 series. Yep. It can be installed in what type of enclosures? It can be installed in uh, EX rated enclosure suitable for the zone that it's in. And it must be installed in that enclosure in order for this to meet its EX rating as well. But once it's in that enclosure, it must also be installed on a... Mounting carrier, which is also referred to in some of the Vargo literature as an adapter as well. And that needs to be securely fixed in place. Absolutely. Uh, standard, it can do fine stranded, stranded yep. and solid copper conductors. Yep and we know that it goes up to a maximum rating of 440 yep. depending on how you install it on the carrier. Exactly, if you want to get that 440 volts you've got to have the gap between the connectors. So if you're working in the kind of environment where you're dealing with explosive atmospheres, the Vargo 221 EX version is now available to you which is every bit as useful as the original Vargo 221 that most Sparkies will absolutely adore when they use them. And we love products that make electricians' lives easier. easier. Absolutely. <laughs>